So this clip is something that was shared with us on how you can get any thermostat that has the dry contacts for, uh, that you can purpose for uh, uh, the dehum function. In other words, you wanna slow your blower down if the humidity gets too high. Okay, so if you look at the wire nut on his fingers, you see the red and white wire? And then up there in the board, do you see that red and white wire up there? Okay, where y'all in the video can see a black wire right now that we've used to reconnect those two red and white wires. They from the factory were just one wire, that red and white hooked to the red and white up top. So someone shared with me that uh, you could take and cut those two wires and Basically, one of those wires is simply going to red in the transformer and is feeding red to the other wire all the time, which ultimately is feeding the board, telling it, hey, run the blower at full speed. And when you take the connection away, I want you all to listen what happens. Slows down. Slows way down, right? So that's their dehum mode, all right? So this was a simple cheat for you to realize uh, uh, how to go about uh, getting this unit to go into dehum. So what we would do if we wanted a thermostat to take advantage of this is we would put a wire nut on that one because that's red. And the other end that, you know, uh, we put it on here because that, where we cut it, the wire is so short we had to extend it down, but that black now uh, would literally go to a, a unused conductor. Uh, we just pick any unused conductor that we want to use. I, I always have black on the brain when I want to do dehum, but you, you, you pick a, a spare conductor. I got a brown one right there, for example. If I wanted to use it, I could. And we would literally just wire nut those two together and then bring that brown Okay, so we would put those together, and then on the other end at the thermostat, you can go ahead and hold that, that thermostat up, I'm going to zoom in on it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on that thermostat right now. And the way you would make this work is that brown wire, okay, we're showing the black right now, but it would be the brown that we just hooked up at your thermostat. Color is irrelevant, we just use brown in our example. And you would tie it in, go ahead and move your fingers for just okay. a sec. That's okay. You would tie it in. Oh Lord, bring this up. There we go. On, let's say the bottom U1 connector. Okay, so it's landed. Now what else do you have to do? You see the red? You have to put a little jumper in there and bring it down and tie it in to U1. So you would just put a jumper on the top U1, okay, and bring it up to red. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. You can take the black one out. I think we got the, okay, good enough. So the, the whole point is, is that if you jump red to U1 on the top, and then the other U1 would be feeding the low voltage wire that you tied into that black wire in the air handler, that, that, that wire that is tied into the uh, red and white going into the board up top. Okay, right there. That will feed 24 volts from the thermostat um, to uh, give you full speed operation of the blower until the, de the, the humidity rises too high. So you can choose to set the contacts up in an 8000 to be normally open or normally closed. And we would set this one up to be normally closed. And when we turn on the dehum function and set it to say 50%. In the case of a Honeywell, the way they work is they will wait till the humidity rises 5%. And when, uh, when the, the humidity uh, goes, let's say you got it set for 50, you're good. Um, you get it set for 50%, it gets to 55, bam. Uh, those U1 contacts you saw are really a switch that was closed from red to U1, giving the blower full speed. And and it'll just open that circuit up if the humidity gets 5% above your set. Another another thing on these uh, 8,000 Wi-Fi, uh, on these 8,000 when you're sending up dry contacts, they're gonna give you two options on the, on the Honeywell. 
low low fan or high 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 fan. So you got to make sure when you're setting them up for the dry contact, you hit normally close with low fan. So you want it to. Um, well, to that choice in that case would be if they're closed mm -hmm. to get low fan. That would mean they're giving 24 volts to the air handler mm -hmm. to send it into dehum. And there's correct. some air handlers like that. Okay. And, and correct, to your point, we want it to be uh, closed to provide power to high fan right. so that when it goes into the dehum, mm -hmm. it will mm -hmm. drop to the, low. The fancy. Correct. Right. The, it's simply about which air handler are using because some of them are backwards from each other. Uh, well, I, I, what I know on these Honeywells, that they're, they're the only ones that let you allow uh, that, that that set that you're that you have to set them up. Like, but on on other systems, you can set them up through the air handler itself. Amen. Well, anything we missed? No, sir. Okay. Um, so we we covered the uh, a, a section on how to make a 10-6 uh, dehumidifying with regards to lowering the blower down, um, using a non-train, uh, I think it's an 824, you want to hold this picture real quick. Uh, and the, the 824 stat is a pretty pricey stat. And you know, we, we, we don't have, uh, you know, sometimes we'll have folks that won't go for the expense of that and we'll put it in an 8,000 and it truly, um, um, with regards to basic functionality and getting a dehum function, it can do it for you using the trick we just showed today. Sure. All right, man. Cool. I appreciate you. See you in the next video.